Hey guys, what is going on? Today, I'm going to do another Let's Play, so hopefully it turns out pretty well. We're going to do a couple attacks, and that's pr probably it. Uh, there's not really much I can do to my base right now. Um, every th All my workers are busy, so that's not an option, and we completed this already, which was pretty easy. And I sh my mortar finished upgrading last night, so it's now a level 7. Uh, it does 11 damage per second, it's pretty good. And it's max for this command center level. And then I upgraded another tower. It wasn't really that expensive. Um, I upgraded a lot of walls as well. I got this row done right here, which was about 3 million gold. And then once I finished that, I upgraded the tower. I had a full sto full capacity in sto gold storages, so I just decided to do that. And um, when I hit 4 million oil, I will upgrade my nurses to the level 4s. So then when I get when I start using invaders they will help out quite a lot. But for now we're gonna start off with an attack. Uh, we have about I think four thousand clan trophies. So I'm going for another seven, seven to maybe eight thousand trophies this tournament. Last tournament I got I think eight thousand sixty. It was a pretty good tournament. Um, hopefully I can match that again. And it, there's still like two days I believe, so that that should be in plenty of time. In three days, I think, I got 4,000, so we should be able to get enough. I'm um, going to start off with this base. It's only 7 rating, so that's what you look for. Uh, it's got some clan troops, so this will be a pain. Uh, just They're they're not really strong. They're just more uh, pyros. The pyros aren't really the strongest, um, especially those ones. Those weren't really the strongest ones. Uh, I think level 4s are lower, um, but that's not too much of a problem. Now, uh, we just gotta break through this wall. Hopefully, yeah, those bombs do their jobs. They really need to fix the bombs. I, I'm, I hate bombs right now because they're so stupid. Let's see. Uh, they actually went to the point. Um, the only time you can get them right is when the gunners are attacking that wall. If they're not attacking that wall, they'll go for anything. And it's really annoying because they, they, they're terrible. And it just makes me waste a lot of oil. But you get around that, and now this base is pretty much half done. I'm gonna start off in the top with all my heroes, so they can clean up the structures like the barracks and rally points. They shouldn't uh, take too much damage anyway. And it seems as if we're out of gunner, so I'm gonna use the rest of them right here, and along with two bombs, and that should be able to break the walls nice, nice and easily. That's pretty much it for this base. There's not really too much left. There's a couple. There's a mortar and a couple towers, and that's pretty much it. I knew there was going to be a bomb there. Um, my heroes are taking some damage, so we will not be able to use uh, another one in the next battle, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. And other than that, that should be 100% right there. Um, this this cannon will drop any second now, and the, this tower will follow as well. And the command center should be able, should. Um, not last that long. We have a lot of troops in the area, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. And this gunner will take this out. Um, it's soaking up bullets right now. And now it's going for Huntress. The tower is taking out Huntress, but she's invisible, and that's the best part about her. So that's 100% pretty easy. Um, and not too much oil, but you, you sometimes have to risk it, and I never look for something that's really too expensive. Well, too much of a challenge. You always look for the weak ones. Those are always the best. And while these train, I'm going to take a look at the how many uh, clan trophies I have. I'm pretty sure I have uh, almost 5,000, but I want to check again, and hopefully I'm pretty close to that number. I think we have a couple days left. I think it's like two days something. Let's see, I have 4,700, so that is pretty good. Um, and it's, I'm pretty sure descending in either three days or two days, which isn't too much. One day, oh, one day, 15 hours. Wow. So that's basically two days for me, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. We should be able to get what I'm looking for. And other than that, that should be nice. Now we're going to train some more troops. That's 150. We could train some more gunners. I shall do that. And then we'll do another attack. I'm going to put some riflemen in the max barracks so we can train those as well and then we're gonna continue with another attack and hopefully we can do quite a lot of damage and get quite a lot of oil that'd be awesome now we have 205 uh, troop space which normally is more than I ever use I, I normally attack with like 170 
I never use max. Well, if I do use max, I always have a lot of extras. So I, I just normally attack at 170 or so. And that's normally how I get so many clan trophies. Um, I don't even get that much. Only like 5,000 in, in four days, maybe. Three days, maybe. I have no clue. But it's not that much, but I haven't been playing all that much, being that it was a weekend. So that was a little downtime, but we shall continue in the week to come. Uh, we probably get a lot more clan trophies then, and that would be nice. Now, hopefully we can find a good base with quite a lot of oil. I found a couple bases with um, 200,000 plus oil, and those were really nice bases. And then last night with the bonus I got... I think it was 300,000 plus 150, so it was a pretty great win, and I love that bonus. It's it's really helpful, and hopefully we can find a base now. I haven't really seen anyone with low rating. They're all 10 plus, and I'm looking for something 10 or below, and we haven't found those yet. Um, any day now. There's nine. Let's see. This one looks a tiny bit strong. Um. Let's see, I, I don't have any bombs, so I'm not even going to try that. I should have trained some bombs, but I didn't notice I was out of them. I could have taken that base on if I had bombs, but since I don't, I don't want to take a chance and lose, because that would not be good at all. That base looked pretty nice, 400,000 oil. Too bad I had 15 rating. Um, hopefully we can find a good base soon. I hate having this take a while, but that's normally what happens. And... See, we have, whenever this decides to load, uh, we have two heroes, not much at all. We lost quite a lot in the last battle, but they shouldn't be a deciding factor anyways. In this base, it's pretty weak, I have to say. The walls are pretty pretty bad. It's open to the whole base, so easily going to attack this base. And hopefully we got some leftover troops that I can use for the next battle, but being that the, uh, these walls aren't even a challenge. Uh, so that should be a good sign. I'm going to use my hero there. And there's probably a trap right Nope, I'm surprised about that one. Got to take out this tower before it attempts to kill alligators. Since it's not even doing any damage to him. I'm going to stop at around 70 troops right there. And that should be enough to finish off this base. Um, we got some gunners m walking around. And the riflemen are very powerful against these defense. So it shouldn't take too long to take out. And we, we still have quite a lot of gunners left, so that is a good sign. And now the gunners have to break through the walls, which will be the only challenge in this base. But the riflemen should support quite a lot, and it should be an easy easy victory. Um, I'm going to spawn one guy in here to take out these rally points, so uh, we don't have a time restraint or anything. I just want the battles to be fast and easy. Like, majority of them are. So, this tower went down. Looks like we're out of gunners, actually, but there's not really too much defense left. Just a pyro tower, which isn't really too strong. It's only after tornado, so we're fine with that. And alligator should be able to help quite a lot with these rally points. Just jump over the walls. And that's pretty much it. Another attack down. 100 rating uh, achieved, which wasn't too much in two attacks. It's normally what you should go for, obviously. But... We might do one more attack. Hopefully, we can find one quicker than the last two. And we probably will be able to do quite a lot of damage. And it seems like we have enough troop space now to do an attack. So I'm just going to fill up these. Let's see, this one doesn't need to be filled up, so I'll just. That's good. And hopefully, we have at least one bomb. It's, we have zero. Um, but we do have quite a lot of gunners. Uh, we have 26 of those, so that should be quite a good amount. Um, being that we only have 54 riflemen, gunners should be able to do their job quite well. And using them in mass quantities will do quite a lot of damage against the walls. So that shouldn't be a problem at all. And this probably will be the last attack whenever we can find one. This base, well, it's got a spider gun. I never attack spider guns with riflemen because they die way too fast. Unless it's like a crappy base and that's the only thing they have. That's actually good. If I find one of those bases again, like that one I found quite a while ago, I will certainly attack it. That was quite a nice win. 500,000 gold and oil. Oh, that was quite nice. It was actually a million total, not 500 of each. Um, well, it was 500 of each. I'm just confusing myself now. 
Um, it was it was quite a nice raid, I have to say. I certainly enjoyed it, and it was an easy win. And I got quite a lot of resources out of it, so that would be awesome if I found one of those, but it's probably very rare to find that. And I doubt it's going to happen anytime soon. But once we find a battle, that would be nice, because I hate waiting for a battle like I am doing right now. And normally at the 2000 rating, it takes quite a while to find a base, but it it takes a little bit, and then you just find one. So that it, I think the longest I've been searching for a battle probably cost me around 50,000 gold, and that's quite a lot of ne uh, next clicking. It's, it's only 750 gold to find a battle, and I used about 50,000 gold, which was honestly quite a lot of gold just looking for a base to attack. And whenever we can find a base, that'd be nice. I think I found two that were decent already, but they had spider guns. Here we go, finally. Let's see, this one, um, it's kind of strong. It's kind of a risk, but I want this oil. And being that we don't have bombs, I'm not expecting a th um, three star, but I do want some of that oil, so I'm going to have to take a chance on this one. And I'm going to use quite a lot of gunners there, so hopefully they can get through the walls as fast as possible. Now I'm going to have to use my rifleman to get uh, destroy some of this defense without using too many of them. So I, I certainly don't want to run out of uh, riflemen before I run out of gunners. And now these gunners will go for this, which is good. I'm going to use some, some more of them. Just got to break through these walls and get my riflemen in a good spot so they can go for this oil storage. Which probably has majority of the oil in it. There we go. They're going for it right now, which is nice. That's 250000 available for the taking. I just need my gunners to do their job and destroy all these mortars and all that damage. And I'm going to use the rest of the gunners right here. And this gunner is stuck on a wall. No clue why. It's just a, it's a terrible glitch. And let's see. Hopefully there's no clan troops. If there is, we will find out right now. There is none. Awesome. So just trying to get 50% out of this. I, I think we can get at least one star or two. Oh, if we take out this tower right here, and then the death ray, we can get the command center. That's really the only, only thing stopping us right now. And these gunners, they need to break through the wall almost instantly, because these pirate towers are just destroying them. Uh, they do splash damage, which is quite effective against them, and majority of them will die if they don't take out at least one of them. So, hopefully we can get one. We got one star, which was great, and then we should be able to get two stars. I'm surprised we take out the command center that fast. I was kind of really fast, I have to say. Being that his cannon, cannon is dead, we be, will be able to clean up all this stuff right here. And that is pretty much it. We will stop at two stars. It looks like all we'll be able to get. I didn't think we would get three stars because I didn't have any bombs. And that was kind of a deciding factor in this battle. If we had bombs, I, we probably could have gotten three stars. But my gunners couldn't break through the walls as fast as they needed to and they're still stealing oil so I will continue on that one there's an oil rig right there so I'll stay for that attack and then after that we will surrender because uh, four riflemen can't destroy the rest of this base it would be awesome but I don't think they can um, so that's pretty much it for this battle it wasn't well we did do quite well with the oil 248,000 oil that was certainly what I needed and I, I didn't think we were going to gonna get three stars because we didn't have any bombs but it was still a nice nice attack it got quite a lot of payout on it and we um, got two stars which is great and that's pretty much it it was, it was a great attack and I'm actually glad I did that even though we didn't get three stars it's still not a problem now I certainly need some bombs I mean to train those as well and then hopefully we we're almost at 5,000 clan trophies I think we're at 4,800 so I'm gonna quickly check that and we have 4,801. That's pretty close. Um, I'll probably hit 5,500 today. It's not really that hard to get clan trophies. And that's pretty much it for this video. So if you do enjoy this video or in the series, please click the like button and subscribe as well. It definitely helps. And that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day.